in 2010 for Denny Hamlin. Harvick's car is just a little too free to run up on Tony. He got a little bit loose right there in the middle. Is uh, Kyle leaving the car? He had been cutting it. Oh, oh trouble. Oh, oh, big. That's oh, big. Casey Kane gets yes. turned around. Greg yeah. Bickle involved. Mark Martin is there. No caution has come out. They're going to let him race back. He's very high. He's in, and now the caution. Six. You knew that was going to be big when you saw the nine coming back across the racetrack. Denny Hamlin came here as a rookie in 2006. He won both poles that year and won both races. Career win number 12 for Hamlin comes in his fourth at Pocono. He wins the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide 500 presented by Target. Look at that. Half the field's gone. Oh, look. Somebody's just barreling around a wall up there. Newman. Yeah, this is going to be, they're going to have to sort this one out. Wow. Um, because I tell you what, that nine card, you saw it hit and get up on top of the wall. And then the 24. Fiffle was in it. Mark Martin was in it. Reagan Six car was in came, it. Yeah, Reagan came into it late. Casey David came Reagan. out of his car. That's a good sign. You see the medical crews working with Jeff Gordon in his car. Greg Biffle, another one of those that had heavy impact. There's Marcus Ambrose. His window net is down. That's a good sign. David Reagan, who also got a part of that accident, just drove across the start finish line. Okay, here's here what Lucy, happened final lap. Casey, and, well, and Alvin put a big, put a big mm. block on him, and that's what it was. Oh. He put a big, and man, once you get that grass, you're done. Yeah. Wow, that was a hit, that. man. Wow. That was a hit. That was a hard hit. The 16 and the five just drove into the side of the nine, had no place to go. The Mark Martin and, and Biffle took the hard hits right there. And then you see 24 come into it, 26. Yeah. Take, it, take another going. look here. Watch, watch. you see Casey Kane, the Budweiser car. He, he's going to make a run, and Amendinger is going to take him all the way to the grass on a block. Yeah, and I, and I think Amendinger, I think AJ felt like, okay, I'm this far down. He's not going to be there now. And I mean, right in front of mm. Mark Martin and Biffle. Who's that? Is that, uh, is that Truex in there too? Yeah, Truex, Truex is in there. Yeah. Here's a 39 that we saw come off of turn three, just in the gas. Oh, Ooh. Ambrose hit the inside guardrail a ton. A wild final lap crash. Joe Logano picked up some positions here and finished 13. Your race winner today, Denny Hamlin. We'll talk to him next. Here it is again, Casey Kane getting pushed to the grass, headed to the tunnel turn. The concrete came through the mm. outside of the wheel. Yeah, that's that's incredible. That, that was hard hits right there. Matt Yoakum. And catching up with both Jeff Gordon and Casey Kane walking in Field Care Center. Well, what did Jeff say to you first? Oh, he said he didn't mean to hit me at the end, but I mean, it was, I think it was just things everywhere. Um, I had a huge run. I had tires there, two, two tires on the right side, and I had a big run on AJ in the 77, and as I come across the track, um, he just starts left, and I'm like in the grass at that point. So there's, uh, like, I, I couldn't turn back against it. Um, you know, once somebody shoots to the left like that and blocks you, but we had a pretty good Budweiser Ford. Um, definitely a bad way to end the, in the, uh, in the day, but we had a good, ra good race prior to that. It seemed like today there were so many different race strategy situations, just as much as the track changing because of the weather changing so often. Yeah, I mean, you saw a lot of people up front at the end uh, that probably shouldn't have been. I mean, it's just the way that strategy goes here. We, were, we had a top five car throughout the race, and um, a lot of guys were up there at the end that shouldn't have been. They weren't very good. No, I mean, we were driving back by a lot of them, and just got put in the grass, so it's part of it. I don't know, teammates, we gotta, we got to work on that a little bit, maybe. You guys going to have a good conversation this week about it? I don't talk to AJ hardly ever, and I doubt I'm going to talk to him about this. All right, thanks, Casey.